to Ice Cream with Oops. Uh, welcome to Ice Cream with Lucy. Um, we're so excited to have you all here. If you can, please drop in the chat where you're from and how you found Tradition Kitchens or what your connection to Lucy is. Um, and also, we want to know what your favorite ice cream flavor is. So you can drop all of that in the chat. Welcome in. We're so excited to have you. I see you. Some people are still connecting to their audio. We'd love for everyone to turn their cameras on if they have cameras and if they're able to. Thank you for joining us on this lovely Tuesday night. My vanilla. We're gonna get started in just a few minutes, but we wanna do some introductions first. Um, again, you could write in the chat where you're from, how you found us, and what your favorite ice cream flavor is. And I'm gonna do the same. Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Julia and along with Brianna, we're so excited for Ice Cream with Lucy and her whole family is here to help make it happen. Margo, her daughter, David, her husband. As we are just finalizing a few details and waiting for everybody to come, we're just gonna do a quick kitchen cam. If you've been here before, you know we like to spotlight different friends and new faces. So we'll call out your name really quickly, but Angel, would you like to say hi? Tell us where you're calling in from and your favorite ice cream flavor. Hi, I'm Angel. This is my daughter, Nikki. Hi. And we're in um, Eastern Massachusetts, outside of Boston. And my favorite, sorry, what's that? I think there's just some feedback. Keep going. OK. <laughs> um, my okay. favorite is probably cookie dough. And what about yours? Cookies and cream is my favorite ice cream. My favorite's cookies and cream too. Nice. <laughs> Sounds delicious. Thanks for saying hi. Um, we'll keep going with the kid cooking uh, duo trio, Sien Sienna and Savannah. You're up next. Can you say hi, unmute, introduce yourselves? Um, I'm, uh, I'm Sienna and I'm Savannah. Um, my favorite ice cream is, is cookie dough and cookies and cream and vanilla. Nice. Oh, sounds good. Where do you all live? Uh, we live in Monroe. Connecticut. We live in Connecticut. And they are the owners of the beautiful puppy you love. Oh, I do love you. This is now puppy cam. Yep. <laughs> Great to see you all. We'll definitely have to get a selfie of you guys and everyone else. All right. I think we have uh, one more minute for quick uh, kitchen cam. Anybody super excited to say hello? Wave at us, let us know. Keith from Austin, let's say hi to you. Good to see you again. Hey there, great to be back and uh, looking forward to another awesome event. My favorite ice cream is vanilla because I like to put my own mix-ins in and then based it on the, the moment, figure out what, uh, what works in the moment. Yeah. What's your favorite mix-in? Or do you switch off every time? Oh, yeah. I'm always different. But I, I'll do candy. I'll do cookies, uh, Oreos, obviously. You know what? I, here's my thing is I like the mix-ins because I can do it myself and make it chunkier and make it as make it that balance between mix-in. Because most a lot of the times, you know, it, you don't get enough. You get, they're, it's kind of stingy in the store-bought ones. Yeah, totally. Um, what's the craziest mix-in you've ever done? Um, I've done Kit Kats. I've done all kinds of, oh, you know what was the, was really good was uh, Girl Scout cookies. Oh. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Thank all you. Kinds for of day, like peppermint. I've done the, the mints, the Girl Scout mints. I've done the, uh, the, the peanut butter ones I've done in there. Oh, some really good. Uh, yeah. You can just, you just go up and down the aisle at the store and just go down the candies and the cookies aisle and you just, whatever, you know, looks good at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, check out Mike. I don't know if you're with us uh, on camera, but we're admiring your awesome Zoom background. Pretty cool. Uh, lots of fun flavors here. So thanks. Sorry, the middle row sold out. But we got everything on the bottom row. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have to compete with Lucy's ice cream. Um, love it. Thanks so much, everyone. I'm gonna turn it back to Brianna to get us officially started this evening. Yeah, thanks, Julia. So welcome to Ice Cream with Lucy. Um, if you've been with us before, welcome back. If this is your first Tradition Kitchens class ever, then welcome. We're so excited to have you. Um, 
My name is Brianna, as Julia has already said. I'm a kitchen ambassador for Tradition Kitchens. And for those of you who don't know, Tradition Kitchens is an organization created by Julia um, and her mom a couple of years ago. And currently we offer free cooking classes online rooted in tradition and culture. And we like to remind everyone that we're all about getting to know the people we're cooking with, the stories behind the foods we make and learn as if we are hanging out in each other's kitchens. Um, so welcome again. For those of you who have never used Zoom before, welcome to Zoom. Um, you can find a reaction button on the bottom right. You could, put, you could clap a little bit, you could put a heart. If you're shocked at something that Lucy says, you could do a little shock, shock guy. Um, so we just wanna have those options if, um, to show your emotions and see how you're enjoying the class. Um, also, before every class, we like to take a Zoom selfie or a selfie. Um, so if everyone can please turn on their cameras, if they're able to, we just really like to document who's here and to, see everyone's beautiful faces. So I think we're gonna, I'm gonna call some people out to turn their cameras on. No one is safe. Jessica, Kaden, uh, Megan, Jasmine, Sarah. Julia, let us oh, yeah. and All right. have a good uh, amount of people. A good crew here. That was a great call out. I'll just wrap us up with Anjali and Kaden and Shabu. Um, all right, I think we have a good amount on video. So I uh, want to count us down, Brianna. Yeah, all right. <laughs> okay, three, two, one. Awesome. Sarah, sit still. <laughs> <laughs> Should we take again? Yep, do one more. All right, all right. three, two, one. Awesome. Now, nobody right. turn off your video because it's great to see you all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're off the hook for now. Um, so before we start, I want to remind everyone that the recipe for these ice creams and the ingredients have been sent out um, oh. via email and Substack. So they should be in uh, the confirmation email of the ticket that you registered for with this class. Um, and as always, we'll be posting the full recipe and the recording of this class on our Substack in a few days, and you'll get a follow-up email with all those links. So don't worry if you don't catch all of Lucy's instructions tonight. Um, also, we'll be leaving the chat open for questions, which I'll be moderating, and I'll be able to ask your questions um, when Lucy is not in the middle of teaching something. So some of you might recognize our teacher, Lucy, tonight. She has taught cheesecake and hot milk cake. And so here at Tradition Kitchens, we've dubbed her our sweetest teacher because she tends oh, to stay on the you. dessert realm and she, she is so <laughs> sweet. Um, we also want to shout out Lucy's daughter, Margo, and her husband, David, for helping with the technology and the camera setup. So I'll let her introduce herself and she can go ahead and get started. Oh, hi, everybody. It's been a difficult year. And we've all had to find things that make ourselves happy. And I know that ice cream always makes people happy. And it seemed to me from the chat earlier that a lot of people like vanilla. So I'll whip up a batch of vanilla first. I think you already have the ingredients, but I'll go through it as I'm, as I'm working. Um, <clears throat> I have my handy blender here. And I have a cup of heavy cream and two cups of half and half. Right into the blender. Oh, it already looks happy. Okay. And to that we add seeds from a vanilla bean. If you don't have a vanilla bean, don't worry about it. You can use vanilla also. How you open a vanilla bean is pretty, well, it's a little tricky. Lay it flat on a surface. Take a very sharp pointy knife. Run it down, down, down across the bean. And then with the other end of the knife, you scrape out the delicious part that's inside the vanilla bean. All the yummy stuff. And it looks pretty in the ice cream too when you see a little bit of vanilla bean. I like to put in just a drop of vanilla also because 
I like it a little more vanilla tasting. And the last ingredient that goes in here is two thirds of a cup of sugar, which I've already measured because you don't have to watch me measure two thirds of a cup. And a dash of salt that I put in the sugar. And I'm going to rinse the vanilla bean off my finger. This is a little bit of a crime, but save the save the pod and you can put it in sugar and make vanilla sugar for yourself. So nothing is wasted. And then one, two, three, you put the cover on very carefully. And you just blend it. You blend it for a little while. <laughs> Looks like. So you see, vanilla is not very complicated. I'm going to put this in the fridge and let it really get chilled so that when I put it in the ice cream maker, it moves along a little more quickly. So, Lucy, you it sounds like you don't necessarily need an ice cream maker for this ice cream. Well, blender? I've seen recipes on the internet a lot of recipes where you don't necessarily use an ice cream maker, but I've been doing it this way for years and I'm always satisfied with the results. So this is what I recommend. Um, I want to make chocolate ice cream with you because it's a little bit more complicated and it takes a little more, little more work and effort. Uh, it's one cup of milk and two cups of heavy cream, which I've already measured, right into a saucepan. And I put this on the flame. And it has to cook until it bubbles up a little bit. Combine the milk and the cream in a saucepan until bubbles form around the edge and the mixture is hot. Add the sugar to dissolve. And I also have a mixture here of some vanilla, two teaspoons of vanilla, and a little, little bit of coffee extract because I like it in the chocolate ice cream. And here I have um, three ounces of chocolate that I chopped up. I'm going to melt it. What it kind of chocolate off. do you use? I like, I like Trader Joe's Pound Plus. I find that it's very nice quality. And this calls for unsweetened chocolate. Now, I don't like it, I never use it. It's like, eh, you know, it's sort of an off taste to me. So this I find to be very economical, and very good. So I always use this and that's it. And then you have two egg yolks, which I already cracked and you beat them up a bit. With my teeny tiny beater and that's enough. Okay. So after the, after the milk and cream start to bubble up a little bit, you beat the egg yolks in a small bowl and you carefully add a little bit of hot cream to this bowl. Because if you don't do it little by little, you'll get scrambled eggs and that's not a good thing. So this is supposed to reach 160 degrees on a, um, on a candy thermometer, but it doesn't matter if you're not that precise. It's not science, it's just, it's just ice cream, so it doesn't matter. Hello, it doesn't matter all that much. Okay, so it's doing I, here, and... I have a quick question. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm late to the party, but yes. I was wondering, can you use egg substitute for the eggs? Um, I never tried it. I never tried it. Yeah, but, I have not um, Try it. What's I the would, worst thing that can happen? You'll make somebody in the family eat it anyways. It doesn't matter. Thank you. Okay. 
After the, um, I don't want to make a mistake. Okay. Okay, I'm just, oh, here I have to, when the mixture is hot, I have to add the sugar. Okay, I'm adding the sugar. It's bubbling pretty well. I'm going to add the sugar. I love the live action. Can you let that dissolve? Yeah, the reason I wanted to do this with you is that a lot of your recipes are very straightforward. And this one is it's kind of complicated. So it helps when you watch somebody do it one time. Okay, I'm dissolving the sugar. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to melt the chocolate. Pop it in the microwave, I don't know, for a minute. Okay, that should do. Okay, it's bubbling, it's bubbling, it's dissolved. Okay, I'll put a little bit of the cream into the egg yolks. A little bit of cream and I'll mix it so that it doesn't scramble the eggs. A little bit more. So really, you're sort of making the custard almost with milk and cream and eggs. Lucy, is that cream and milk in the pot right now or just the cream? It's, this is milk and cream. Okay. The vanilla recipe, I think, was half and half and, and cream. So I've made so many different yeah. recipes. It's hard to remember. I've made... Um, even peanut butter ice cream. I've made mint chip. I've made maple walnut. Um, depends on, on who's coming and what they like. I have a niece who loves, loves strawberry ice cream. And uh, when I know she's coming, I make it. And this is a good season for fresh fruit ice creams. Uh, this morning I made a beautiful peach ice cream. Also, that was a very, very simple recipe. The only real work that had to be done was um, peeling the peeling the peaches, but they're so good now and so available that uh, it's a pleasure. And the strawberries are so good right now. I've never attempted blueberry ice cream. I I think I don't know if that would work. I think it's got too much. Um, too much skin on the blueberries. How do you uh, how do you work with the water in the fruit? I'm sorry, what? How do you work with the water in the fruit? The water in the fruit. Um, it's fine. It just it just works out fine. Uh, today I did uh, fresh peaches. You can use. Uh, they tell you also frozen peaches, but if I have fresh, why would I want frozen at this point? And um, I, I've never had a problem. Uh, the only time I've had a problem was when I tried to make, um, oh, it wasn't even fruit. I think it was a, like a cof coffee sorbet. And it was more like uh, ices than a sorbet. But, uh, you know, it's all experimental. And once you've done it once or twice, and even if you have, sometimes it just, uh, you know, it doesn't always work out, even if you've, you've done it once or twice. But it's cooking, you know, it's not, it's not rocket science and brain surgery. So if you make a mistake, you make a mistake. Most of the time it's still edible anyway. You have any more questions, anything else? Um, let me see here. Oh, when you added coffee, mm -hmm. what, did you add? You added like actual coffee, not just the grinds. No, I put I put the coffee extract, a tiny, oh. tiny. It's very strong coffee extract. So I put a tiny, tiny bit. 
when I'm making um, a honey cake or uh, something like that, I'll, I'll actually brew a strong cup of coffee and use strong coffee. But for this, um, I'm always afraid that if I put in grounds or actual coffee would be too much water. I think this is good to go. Take it off the heat. Okay. Okay, now I have to stir in the chocolate. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can see that it's thickened slightly. It says it has to thicken slightly. Not as much as the custard, but you, you can see, you can see that it's thick. Uh, vanilla, vanilla. Don't forget the vanilla and the coffee. Okay, that's good, that's in. Here's my spoon. Do you put coffee in the chocolate ice cream? Yeah, just a, just a little drop. I, I put coffee in chocolate cake sometimes too. It just gives it a just special, special extra taste. Well, I have one friend who absolutely can't have anything with coffee. So when I'm cooking for her, I'm more careful and I, I would never, never do that. Okay, the salt is in, the eggs are in, everything is in. Okay. Now I have to strain it into a bowl that I have ready. Don't you have to mix the chocolate in? Oh yeah, I forgot. Otherwise it wouldn't be chocolate ice cream, right? Oh, see, it's good to have assistants because they keep you, you know. <coughs> okay, oh, it's good. Oh, look, it's all goopy and good. Nice and melted. Okay, in you go. Okay. Oh, actually, I think I was supposed to strain it first, but I think it would be all right anyway. And it goes. I've never made um, a cookie dough ice cream, but I imagine once you've got the method, you can pretty much make anything. Okay, it's going in. I'm gonna waste any goody good stuff here. Okay, let's stir it. Okay, now it says to strain it. So we're gonna strain it. Margo, can you fill this bowl with eggs, please, up to about halfway? Lucy, we have a chocolate question. I'll let Brianna ask it. So Pam is wondering why you you don't add the chocolate pieces into the milk and cream. Hold on, I'm Mark. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> um, Pam is wondering why you you melt the chocolate in the microwave and you don't just let it melt in the milk and cream mixture. I don't know. It's that's the instruction, so that's what I do, and it always works out. So that's fair. I just do it that way. Okay. This is a little bit of the egg yolk that I'm straining out here. Okay, you can go. I have that side. same cookware. I love it. <laughs> I can't hear them. They have the same cookware. Oh, oh, oh. I treated myself to some new pots recently, but I'm a little sad because when I first started cooking, I had a whole bunch of Fargoware pots that I had, I had gotten as a gift, and they were just trusty. And whatever you did to them, you couldn't destroy them. But then I sort of wanted something new or fancier, and so I got these. Okay, and I just stir it. And now I have to ice it. So I lay it on a bed of ice. I let it cool down. Okay, good. 
good to go. I think I would like to get a little more chocolate into this. And scratch on the. There it goes. Okay. It's in. Thank you. Well, Stuart, my family is running around and they're helping me. And my daughter is scraping the chocolate out of the little bowl. Thank you very much. Okay. So now it just has the ice. And when this cools off, it will, I, I then I would have to use the immersion blender because I find that the chocolate doesn't mix as well as it should just by itself. So as it's cooling, I'm gonna make the vanilla ice cream, which I put in the fridge. Okay. You don't want anything to settle out, so it's a good idea to give it another quick puree. <laughs> At a, one time in my early years of cooking, I didn't get the top entirely right on top of the blender. And I had a ceiling full of raspberry puree. And it was quite, quite a thing. Okay, so that's good. Here's my ice cream machine. I have a question. From your um, blender, Cup looks like it's so much more full than ours. Like ours is only like that much. Maybe it's a bigger blender cup. Die? What kind of blender do you have? Oh, it's a ninja. It oh, has, so this, uh, this this right is now, just yeah. This is just a very basic kind of old fashioned old fashioned blender, and uh, so it's smaller. Yeah, it's smaller. Yeah, my daughter has the Ninja and she made something today and it sounded like a jackhammer. Can you get me the, the bowl from the- No, 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 it's- It's in here, thank you. Well, this is so good. I'm going to have assistance in my everyday cooking. This is wonderful. Maybe need the other pieces of the bowl. Okay. So I just gave it another quick blend. And I pop this thing in. What is that? It's just, it's the beater, the little beater that goes inside the ice cream machine. This is so, such a complicated machine. It's just a little motor and a tub. And the tub has some sort of liquid inside it. And you put it in your freezer. And uh, that's the whole thing. It's really a very simple machine. And, but it still has to be plugged in, so I'll do that. Okay. There we go. Oh. I buy vanilla beans. May I have it? I buy the vanilla beans when, um, when it's holiday because they have them in Costco. And they're generally, somebody biting somebody there. And they're generally, uh, much cheaper than in the, you know, if you mail away for it or you buy it in a fancy store. Okay, into the, into the complicated machine. Well, it looks nice, it's all foamy. It looks so good. Well, it smells good too. Now I need the little spatula. I don't wanna waste anything because it's so good. Oh, I see the vanilla beans coming in there. Get them in. Come on, vanilla beans. Don't hang out in the bottom. Okay. Okay, gotcha. Now, that's the whole thing. I have a question. <laughs> yes, what's the Can question? the camera person lick the bowl when this is over? Certainly. And the assistant? Certainly. Okay. Okay, now this is supposed to just go down on here, which it's not doing, I don't know why. Okay. Okay, 
Let's go. Ta-da, complicated machine. And it has two settings. It has a soft ice cream setting and a regular ice cream setting. And I like the regular ice cream. That's why I'm making it that way. That's it. And it goes for about 20, 25 minutes. And when you see the mixture sort of sticking to the sides of the bowl, you know it's ready. Then you transfer it into a cute container. I like these containers because they don't crack. If you put it in a regular plastic container, sometimes it bursts, it cracks, and then you've ruined all your ice cream. So that's a pity. Okay, this is getting cold. This will have to be for tomorrow. I have an ice cream snob coming tomorrow. And she said she only likes chocolate. And I said, well, you haven't tasted my chocolate yet. She said, you'll have to prove it to me. And I said, I will. So my Mahjong ladies are coming tomorrow. And uh, the chocolate snob will taste this. Okay, so this is doing. I want to show you the peach ice cream I made. Maybe we should move this downstairs. Or oh. Lucy, can we ask a couple questions about your ice cream maker? Do, please do. So we Let's have ask some questions. So what brand of ice cream maker are you using or what do you recommend? Oh. It's Ma Maverick, this one. Maverick. Oh, Margo took it to the other room so that it doesn't. <laughs> and this one, this one is about 20 years old or maybe more. There are, there are probably a bunch of uh, different ones on Amazon. Cuisine art and a few of the other expensive ones, probably. <laughs> but this works. I mean, it's it's a simple, simple machine. You don't need anything fancy. And really, all the recipes I've seen on the internet, I I would even attempt one without the ice cream maker. This is the peach ice cream I made this morning. I like this uh, container because it's very easy to scoop from. Instead of going in, you just go across, and uh, as you see, it's it's pretty and it's yummy and it's fresh peaches. So that was from this morning. And that's that. Any more questions? And how did you make the peach ice cream? How did I make the peach? Um, I give you the recipe. It's very quick. It's uh, two cups of half and half, three quarter cup sugar. Slow Quarter cup non-fat dry milk, three cups peeled and pitted peaches, or it says one package, 16 ounces, frozen sliced peaches defrosted. I've never used that, so I don't know. I like the fresh. Three tablespoons of lemon juice, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and a little, little, little pinch of salt. And that's the whole thing. And it goes right into the blender, just the way this did, same method. Put it in the fridge, cool it down, blend it again before you put it in the ice cream maker. Do you have to I leave it in the fridge? Do you have to leave it in the fridge for a long time to cool? Yes. Yeah, it takes a good couple of hours uh, in, the, in the freezer, at least, till it gets nice and cool. Any more questions, anybody? Sorry, you are too fast. Can you send us the recipe if possible? Yeah, I was going to say, oh, I which one? Send, I'll send out the peach recipe um, oh, with you. the follow up email. Oh, okay. Thank okay, you. Okay, it was too quick. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. We got it. I, also, at this time of year, strawberry is very delicious. Um, I, make, I make strawberry too. Maple walnut. Maple walnut. Um, my one of my favorite ice creams actually is very plain. I like coffee ice cream, a little chocolate syrup on top. Delicious. That's my it's, favorite. Yeah, I love I love coffee ice cream. How many how many ice cream machines do you own? Oh, only <laughs> one. Only <laughs> one. I'm not manufacturing. Only one. I just make it for friends and family. And uh, if I'm going to a barbecue or picnic, people always ask me, ask me for things. Um, 
So I make their flavors and make what they like. I bring it, you know, in a in a cooler. I want to show you how I blend the chocolate into this mixture. I'm gonna get an apron because it gets messy. I don't normally cook this dressed up, but I figured I would be on camera, so I I spruced up. Okay, now I'm serious. I have an immersion blender and I love this thing. Also a very complicated tool. You attach it to the, to the little motor part. You press the button, that's it, that's it. Okay, so this has to get blend, blended. Also has to get plugged in. There we go. Ah, oh, now you can see. Oh, here's the chocolate chocolateness. But just a little tip I've learned through painful experience. Don't move it around. Just put it down, leave it there. Otherwise, you decorate yourself with whatever you're blending. So just put it down and leave it. And that's it. And now you can see the chocolate much better. And it's all mixed up. Now what I'll do with this, it's still cooling down on the ice. You can see the ice bath underneath. It's still, still cooling down. When it gets a little bit cooler, I'll put it in the blender, put it back in the fridge. And tomorrow when my um, ice cream maker is empty, I'll make the chocolate. If you don't want to use the ice cream machine, what would you use? Um, I, I've seen recipes on the internet in the last few days or so. And they pretty much say you can put it in the freezer. I don't know how well that'll work. I've never tried it. And, uh, you know, when you have a toy, you have an ice cream machine, you want to play with your toy. So I've, I've always used the ice cream maker. But you, I'm sure you'll find uh, recipes. Thank you. You're most welcome. So how long do you put the the bowl from the ice cream maker in the freezer before you use it? Oh, overnight is the best. As cold, as cold as possible because the, the substance inside the walls of the, of the bowl really, really gets good and cold mm -hmm. and uh, overnight. So when this ice cream is finished, I'll clean everything. I'll put in the chocolate and oh well, I'll wait a little bit, then I'll put in the chocolate. And uh, I'll, I'll put it in the ice cream maker tomorrow, I think. Great. So where did you get those ice cream containers, the nice ones? Oh, aren't they cute? Uh, just the regular, <laughs> the local places, uh, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. They're not expensive. They're, they're 4 or $5. And this one, I don't remember where I got it, but I like it a lot. Also one of the local places. And nothing, nothing is a big investment. Nothing is expensive. All right. And we have a question about mint ice cream. Would you oh, say mint. you could just put in some mint extract into the vanilla? Yeah, you can, you can put in mint extract, but be very, very careful. I made mint chip once and it was kind of like toothpaste. It was oh, no. so strong. Uh, what you can do if you if you have mint in your garden, if you have a garden, is steep some mint leaves and use a little bit of the mint liquid. And that makes a very nice flavor. But if you don't have it, a little, little bit, just a little. And then if you don't feel it's tasty enough, you can always add a little more. And what I try to do is I put it in a little, a little cup first and I add a drop and a drop and a drop. Because when you go to all the effort and you pay for the cream and everything else, you don't want to waste anything. 
Is it less expensive to make ice cream yourself? Not necessarily, no. But you get what you want and you get the flavors you want. And uh, it's a fun experience, especially if there are kids in the house or if you're, it, it makes people feel very looked after. One of my good friends had a birthday recently and uh, she's the kind of person it's very impossible to shop for. And I remember that she loved chocolate ice cream on waffles with chocolate sauce. And uh, so I made her an entire kit of, of ice cream treat and I gave it to her for her birthday and she was very touched. She gave me a beautiful, beautiful um, cake plate. I was addicted to Star Baker, uh, to the British baking show on uh, TV, on Netflix. And uh, every week they would elect a star baker. So she got me this beautiful cake plate and she couldn't find anything that would say star baker. So she sent it away to have it engraved. And it's just, it's just, I treasure it. I think Margo is bringing it in. <laughs> it weighs about 300 pounds. Uh, oh, wow. Is that That's, fancy or what? Yes. Star oh. Baker. I've been making a lot of, um, I read a lot also because it keeps me from baking, which is probably a good thing in this time of, of COVID fatness. Um, and one of the books I read was by a, a French woman an American woman who settles in France and she had a recipe for Hungarian cherry cake. And I said, ah, I'll try it. And was that delicious? So I had that in my star baker container. And uh, one of the ladies made key lime pies and uh, the recipe was wonderful and easy. And I made a few of them and they're very successful. The only complaints I get is uh, they're not big enough from people who who <laughs> say you haven't saved me a piece. So I, and people take it home too. They say, "Oh, can I have some for later?" And I, I can't say no. Was it difficult to peel all of those key limes? No, no, it was not difficult. You don't peel them anyway. You squeeze them. You don't peel them. Also, you can make it with, if you buy a good lime juice, you can make it with lime juice also. You don't necessarily need uh, key limes. They're, they're a little hard to find, but the fancier supermarkets carry them. But you need two bags and it's four fifty a bag and then it gets to be an investment. And uh, then if it doesn't turn out right, you kind of, uh, kind of kick yourself. So, uh, but it was delicious. It was absolutely delicious. And um, I think I'm going to treat myself to a kitchen torch because I've been wanting to make meringue and uh, I don't trust it so much in the oven and it's so cool when you have a kitchen torch, so I want one. Not that my birthday is coming up, but I want one anyway. Any questions, Any anybody need any um, information? Have you ever tried sorbet? Um, I tried a couple of times, uh, once or twice, it worked out very nicely. I made mango sorbet and I made peach sorbet, very delicious. I tried to make a coffee thing and that was terrible. It was too watery, but the fruit ones came out very nice. Is it a different recipe? Oh yes, it's a whole different situation. It's different. I have several books. Um, well, I've got to get some of the chocolate off my hands. I have several books with different um, coffee and sorbet, but not coffee, um, ice cream and sorbet recipes that I picked up over the years. And uh, I still like a cookbook. I mean, you can find just about anything on the internet, but I, I still love some of my cookbooks and some of my old favorites. One of the best ice cream sources is this little cheapy booklet that came with the um, ice cream machine. And uh, you can see it's been very well used. There's just about 
a drop of something on every page and, and, and extra notes that I made. But uh, you know what, it works. It just works. So anything else, anybody, more questions? I think we have time for a couple more questions. Um, so speak now <laughs> or hold your peace. Oh, Barbara is asking if you don't have a blender, use a Vitamix to blend, and then you would pop it in the freezer. Yeah, you could probably use a Vitamix. I've, well, I've seen recipes also with food processors. So yeah, or, 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 or even a regular hand beater, you could probably use anything that would mix it up really well. But I love the blender. It's easy. I pour right out of it and I've been using it this way. But try, I mean, it probably be fine. Did anyone cook along with Lucy? I have the chocolate part, but it's in the ice, Beth. Let's see. Say, who, who is that? Oh, Wait. Lena. Hold on. Let me um, add. Did you want to see it? or? Oh, oh. nice. I you see Margo, David, can you see it? Looks great. Oh, it looks nice. It looks very rich. It looks it's good and rich. I bet that's going to be delicious. Love it. Thanks for sharing. Sienna, yes. Savannah, anyone else? Angel, are you holding something up? I can't see. Hold on. Nope, you're just looking at the camera. All right. Oh, pretty oh, girl. Yes. Hi. I saw your face before. And oh, I said, yeah. oh, she's so pretty. And they said, they can hear you. They can hear you. I said, I don't care. <laughs> you are pretty. <laughs> Good work, Angel. Nice and done. All right. I think anyone else, hard to see, but I think I caught whoever. Nope, Sienna and Savannah. Yes, maybe. Let me see. Sienna, Sienna, yeah, they're having dinner, but they did make the vanilla one. It's still in the refrigerator because when they're done, we'll put it in the, we have the kitchen, the cuisine art. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 that's the fancy one. Yeah. Oh, they are, that would be um, luxurious. We have, uh, we lost one of um, our uncles, COVID, and he was a big chef. His name was uh, Jerry Reveron. And so we inherited his whole kitchen system. We've got it. We've got your torch that someone is going to buy you. I heard them say that. And <laughs> we have, I haven't used, so it was perfect when I saw the event. I said, oh my gosh, we can make ice cream. So I'm really excited. Oh, so, I'm so, what a, what a good, good, sweet memory of your uncle. It's such a terrible, hard year. It's yeah, nice it to have all these things that were important to him too. It's beautiful. Right. We use it, we remember him for sure. So, oh, wonderful. thank you. Thank you for sharing and honoring his memory in that way. Um, it's been really wonderful getting to know all of you. Um, and we have one last fun uh, from Hawaii. Sri, Sri, our former teacher, wants to show off uh, ice cream. So Sri, let's end on this sweet note. I'm looking for you to add you. Um, and we'll kind of wrap up. So let me add you to the spotlight. Tell us about ice cream in Hawaii. Okay, here it is. Here's the box. Can you see it? Yeah. Oh, that, looks, that looks good. That looks good and no work. That looks very good. Okay. <laughs> when I was in Hawaii, uh, friends who spend a few months there every winter said, oh, you've got to get shave ice. You've got to get shave ice. And it was, oh, it was so sweet and so good. And I didn't have the little fancy cone thing that went underneath. So I ate it and I wore it and I enjoyed it. It was just so good. Where were you in Hawaii? Oh, you're on mute, Sri. Muted. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, we are at Kapolei. It's uh, located on West Oahu. Uh, Kapolei, yes. Beautiful, yeah. Oh, it's so pretty there. I, I hope to go back sometime soon now that the world is, is back. 
Yeah, so we all want to have a reunion in Hawaii. <laughs> so watch out. We'll we'll be visiting and cooking together. Well, this has been wonderful, Brianna. I'm going to hand it to you to wrap us up. And thank you so much. Um, I'll just say to Lucy and to Margo and David, it's just been so wonderful to get to spend all this extra time with you during quarantining. And I'm so grateful for all your delicious sweet cooking. So thank you. Thank you. And back to Brianna to wrap us up. And thank you. Thank you. Yeah, everything that Julia said, I second that. Um, thank you again, Lucy, for teaching a wonderful class. Um, we hope everyone either tries to cook this recipe or um, keeps it in the back of their mind for a little bit. Um, so as far as upcoming classes, we don't have any currently, but if you or a friend want to cook, please send us an email um, and be on the lookout for future emails coming up soon about other classes. Um, again, the recipe and instructions will be sent out in a follow-up email within the next few days. And I hope you all have a great night. And thank you again, Lucy, Margo, and Oh, Dave. thank you, everybody, and good night. <laughs> Good and night. I forget your cat you. name, but thank you to your cat as well. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Lucy. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Good night. Thank you all for coming. Bye. Thank you. All right. Yeah, we'd love to get photos of the final product. Yes. Maybe nicely plated in a glass or a cup. <laughs> or on a phone. <laughs> we'll take them all. Thank I can you, I can send you some. Well, I'll send you some. I will. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I wish I could send you some ice cream. You have to come <laughs> visit. Come visit in Long Island, and and you'll have my ice cream. <laughs> Maybe I'll come stop by. <laughs> please, please do. Bring your mom. <laughs> I will. <laughs> she needs it. <laughs> Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Enough.